to my channel so today i filmed this baby hair tutorial it was highly requested so you know i'm gonna bring it whatever y'all request i do or try to do or get into doing so anyways um you guys interested in this tutorial keep on watching also if you guys are interested in these lashes these are from my website which is www.shopsoshar.com make sure you guys check these out i think they should by the time this video is up they'll definitely be added on this so yeah also be sure to check out double e i am wearing their hair and it is too long baby hair is bomb lace is melted so you already know thumbs up to double leak company all right y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and begin the baby hairs process you guys asked for like a full-on tutorial on just baby hairs so i'm gonna do that for y'all right now i feel like i look like the undertaker or something like i feel like i like a man with a wig on but double leaf tree has some really good laces like this lace melted down and it looks really 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 good even without big hairs but you know me i don't live without big hairs so we're gonna do baby hairs all right so i'm gonna zoom the camera in closer so i got the camera zoomed in closer the first thing you'll need is the baby hairs to brush and i got this from the beauty supply store for only two dollars um real quick we need to talk about my nails so my nails are like throwing up game size right now and when i say they're throwing up game size it's because like this nail's broken so it's like gang and then this nail's broken so it's like gang you know that's why i like it though gang size but anyways um yeah i always catch me when my nails are just about done but i'm gonna get them done maybe tomorrow depending on if i get out of bed or not but hey let's start the baby. i haven't like fully parted my hair but i'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs so first things first is my baby hairs i usually like them to be right here front and center and depending on how my mood is or depending on the flow of the hair depends on which way i like to part my baby hairs but to be really honest i usually like my baby hairs to swoop in the other way but this time seems to look like it has more hair so we're gonna swoop it this way so with the front of my baby hairs, I like to take my razor comb. I don't use scissors or nothing like that. I think my razor comb just gives me like, how do I say this? It just gives me like, not too perfectly, but just like shredded look. And that's the look that I give for my baby hairs. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start from lower and then get longer as I go through and I do it that way just so I can have like little hairs and then the actual baby hair that's kind of the flow that I like to give it another thing about doing your baby hair before you have to do your baby hairs you need to make sure that your lace has been fully dried because I have a pimple if it's not fully dried then as you're doing your baby hairs and swooping it it'll lift the lace up so yeah I forgot to mention the type of gel that I'm going to be using, but if you guys have been watching me, then you know, like my most recent videos, I've been stuck on this gel right here, and it's Bomb Goo, and it's from a hairstylist who's located in Miami. Her name is She Bomb on IG, and you know, I've seen it it's at the Beast Buy store by the shop I work at, so I was like... Let's try it, see what's tea. And you know what y'all, I love it. This is actually my third bottle. I have bought one to try it out and then I bought two more the next time I went because it was fire. So now I'm just gonna start doing my baby hairs. So I, so I'm taking out this whole piece right here because I'm gonna do them pretty big. If you're not a fan of baby hairs, you shouldn't be watching this. And if you are, you're gonna love this. So now I'm just jagging it through. 
And so if y'all can't reach me right now, my needle isn't, my needle, my razor isn't that strong. Cause it's new, so it's more jagged. You gotta put more effort into cutting. But the first baby sweep that I do right here, I always do it smaller than usual. Cause I don't want a big piece of baby hair in the front of my head looking crazy. So taking it, sweeping it. You know, and you always, my key to making my baby hair look so good is I always brush it into my hair. So just like that. And keep on brushing it. And then, you know, like that. And bomb. Brushed it into my hairline. And, you know, I'm brush it and it looks more natural, I guess. And now I'm going to take my second row. And that's probably going to be all of this. I'm actually going to take all of this. Usually, depending on how good I pluck the hair, depends on if like I'll pluck while doing my baby hairs. But see, I like to. I'm gonna pluck that piece of hair out because that piece of hair was in my first baby hair, and I don't like there to be like baby hairs piled up on each other. I don't like them to look like stacked up. I like there to be like a little gap between them. Baby hair's one on one long. Alright, so now I'm taking this and uh, just, it's all in y'all, like, it's all in your wrist to, like, see this piece is trying to be greedy. Now, as you can see, there's like a gap right here between this baby hair. And all I'm going to do is pluck that out because it's like you're messing up the flow of the baby hairs. I'm going to take a little bit more. And I'm just going to put that right there. And as you do the baby hairs too, you take the comb part. And I personally feel like the comb part is going to help you like spread the hair. So, yeah. That's the baby hair number two. As y'all can see, it's starting to come along. Shit, I need to wash my hair. I'll be like just stabbing holes through the wig just to get it first. The thing about it is like my hair wasn't itching before. So now that the wig is on, it wanna be all funny and start itchy. Now I'm going to do by the way I took off my earring last night because my hair was itching in the middle of the night. I need to stop wearing all that fake ass jewelry, but not fake jewelry because I don't want fake jewelry, but my all my my earrings are super fake. So like all of these right here. Fake it in work, but you know, I got like 400, no. Maybe like 399 at least first time. At this point, I buy everything at least first time. Alright, so this looks a little bit more full, so I'm gonna take my tweezers and basically thin it out some, because I don't want to have a chunk of side. Like, I already do my fibers long, so I don't want to have like, a chunk of hair. Lately, I've been mistakenly cutting my sideburns too short, so I'm gonna try my best not to do that, and I probably just did. And now my baby hair smooth. Yeah, I did my sideburn too short. You see this right here? Extra piece of hair. If you got grip, you could just pop it. So, 
So like, I'm feeling a bit here so far, a little bottle. Yeah, and this is the flow that I want to go in. I'm gonna do a little brush right there. So, voila. Why the hell is underneath my eyes so wet? All right, y'all, so this is what baby here's this side looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Um, this side won't be a talk through. I'm gonna go ahead and just, ouch, speed up the pace. But first, let me take a selfie. Now, if you guys wanna follow me on Snapchat, follow me. It's Charlene Forever. Scalp. Scalp. All right, y'all, so that was that sign. Like I said, I'm gonna speed this up and not do a little talk through. All right, y'all, so here's the finished look on the baby hairs. Um, I'm definitely feeling them. So usually, if it's another type of gel, I usually try to blow dry it so it can remain intact, but this gel is very strong, so my baby hairs are already dry, except for this side, because I just did it, but I'm not gonna have any issues with it lifting up, to be really, really honest. So the next thing that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some oil. So I'm gonna be taking my BTV turn up the heat. It's a flat iron protection, but it's like smells really really good and it gives the hair like a really nice shine. So I'm gonna take that and put that through my baby hairs. And the reason why I do this step is just to hydrate my baby hairs so that they don't end up being like dry and crunchy. So yes guys, here's the baby hairs. Alright, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys for watching.